Oh my god, what does she have that makes her so popular? I don't know, but she probably has something. I swear, it's like she just got it. But what does she got? <laughs> Let me tell you what she's got, girls. Personality, right, right there. See, it's, it's, it's literally right there. And you too can have your own personality if you check out this personality T-shirt. Oh my god, now I have personality. Yeah, this is the best. Oh my god. <laughs> but for reals, check out the personality T-shirt now available in the description down below. Enjoy, guys. Bye. Also, this was the shirt I was looking forward to, so I love it. No, 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 no! Meow. Don't tell me to keep my composure! I've been in this damn maze for days! The last thing I care about is keeping my composure! Meow. Of course you can keep your composure! You haven't been reading this whole time! You've just been licking yourself when it's convenient for you! Meanwhile, I have to panic over what I have to do to keep my throne! Meow, meow. I've worked my way to the position I'm in, and I'm about to lose it because of some soul-searching brat. Meow, meow. Truth be told, if I were in Ash's position right now, I can't say what I would do. Knowing me, I'd probably turn and run as well, go somewhere where I could never come back. But who knows? Perhaps Ash will come back. Perhaps born royalty have some sense of honor. Mao. Of course they do. But something inside is telling me if given the right circumstances, Ash may abandon his duty. Despite our similar age, I don't know Ash well enough to say. Meow. <sighs> Who am I kidding? I knew this was too good to be true. Despite all my efforts to get this close to becoming queen, despite everyone I've deceived and manipulated, the gods still had to curse me. Let's return to the castle. Huh? Who's there? H Hello? Meow. It, it fell? This book. Meow meow. It's... it's clean. It's clear of any dust in comparison to the other books here. It also has this strange smell about it. Meow meow. This page... Someone has actively referenced it lately. Earth? Oh, for heaven's sake, this child. Forgive me for asking, but what are you doing? Wondering how she managed to get past her father's on this. Usually, Devin and Andrew are very observant about her living conditions. But I take it they were too distracted with her relationship with you boys to pay attention. They had laid down the law with us, but they also mentioned that, for them, it was nice to see us in her apartment. Ooh! Hmm... I'm going to assume since Ava has friends, they're going to try to give her more personal space. Well, I'm glad her parents are making an effort to let her spread her wings and fly. Though, <laughs> I wonder how they're really taking it. Oh, come on, Andrew, just let me call her once. 
No! It's only been a few days. And we are trusting her to... They're making videos, I know it! I've seen it in my shows! Once the parents leave, the kids pull out the weed farm and get back to causing trouble! Devin, we raised Ava to be a smart and responsible... Responsible? I... Uh... See? <laughs> She's a young adult. Who says they're responsible in the first place? She's just trying to figure out her way in life and... I'm calling her! Don't make me cuddle you to death! That won't stop me from checking on our baby this time! She's with five strange men! Who knows what they're doing? I know exactly what they're doing! You can't... Wait, you do? Yes, I can see it perfectly. Now, uh... They're all playing Monopoly, and our baby has all of the properties. But then she sees that Noi doesn't have any. So she goes over to Noi and decides to share some of her property, which leads her to seeing the wrong in the justice system, so she decides to then start a democracy where then she can... Uh, That's just you and you know it. Look, let me have this! As long as you let me call her now! You will not call her! Give those back now! Never! Well, I do suppose they're handling it like grown adults, if anything. Mrs. Oates. Hmm? What shall we do to make sure Ava is relieved from her illness? Oh, yes. Hmm, well... First off, you boys need to change out of your fun time clothes. Uh, what? Ah, uh, no! No, spare the details. I don't need to know as I have my own ideas. And I'll ask Ava if I was going to ask anyone. What is she talking about? <laughs> don't mind me. Just get out of your clothes so we can avoid getting them messy. Wait, what are you doing? What you said? <laughs> Not in front of me. Just go change into your regular clothes. Taking care of a sick person means the person who's doing the care needs to be comfortable too. There's literally nothing in this fridge but milk. The rest of the items inside are just cereal boxes stuffed with uh, paper towels. Uh, how is this girl living? That? How is she managing to feed all those boys? Hmm? Oh, where did those boys go? Still pretty high. Oh, there you are. Do you think you can help me get her to the bath? Oh, too hot. Oh, much better. Be a dear and gently put her in. There we go. Let her sit for a moment. Come, follow me. All right, you boys wait here. I need to grab something. Uh, why is this taking so long? Patience, Noi. It's fair to make the obvious assumption that humans heal much slower than Deimos. They also seem to have certain rituals. As long as Princess Ava's all right. Did you say something, Ash? I, I, I said as long as this mission's all right. We've been here on ear for quite some time. 
Yeah, but you don't seem to mind it. <sighs> I've grown tired of yelling. Well, that's a first. Shut up before I change my mind! Well, that lasted long. Uh, shouldn't we be worrying? Huh? huh? I would think if we were gone for long that someone might come after us. I'm sure Lady Grandma would have something to say about that. That's right. Besides, I don't think there's enough magic on Deimos for anyone else to make it to Earth. That's right. It would take someone of high standing in order to follow our path. Even then, I'm sure we're not traceable, seeing as Lady Grandma... Wait. Lady Grandma. I haven't spoken to her in days. What, what's the matter? I, um... Just forgot something. What if the High Council found out about what we did with the last soul? What if they found out and they traced it back to Lady Grandma? <laughs> They'd probably kill her. Do you think so? I mean, that's likely the case, but it's only been a few days, so... So most likely not. It's been many suns since we've arrived. Yeah, it has, but for some reason, doesn't time seem... To go slower? Yes. It does. It is absolutely slower here than on Deimos. How can you tell that for a fact? I have my methods. You aren't using magic, are you? Since when do you care about my magic? Since I don't have any! Because if I did, I could probably heal Ava! I see. Noi, I think it's best you calm down. We have enough magic to- Here we are! My recipe book. Now I know it isn't as fancy as the websites on the internet, but I've cooked up a mean soup that could cure any cold. She has a spell book. Actual human spells? But we can't read well. I can. Great, then let's kill her for it! We need to help Ava first. That's right. Mm, you know, whispering in front of other people isn't a very nice thing to do. M my sincerest apologies. Aren't manners reserved for royalty? <laughs> Ow! Royalty? <gasps> Wait, uh, are you young men from out of the country? Huh? What does that mean? Yes, uh, we are from another kingdom. Oh my! <laughs> oh, you just reminded me of my old flame, Kyle. <laughs> flame? A prince of fire? A rival for a kingdom? Oh my, where do I begin? You know, when I was a young girl, I got around a lot. Much more than Ava, that's for sure. <laughs> of course, back then, we had to go looking for flings and couldn't just get them on the internet and... What does this have to do with making sure Ava is healed? Oh, right. So here, I'd like you boys to take this book and buy all the ingredients on this page here. Here, I'll give you some money to get the items. In the meantime, run you. But me? I'm going to need you to help with Ava. Do you think you can do that? Anything! Um, but we don't know where this grocery store is. I remember. You do? Oh, that's right. All right, now you four move along. Once you get back, we'll make something special for Ava to get better. In the meantime, Noi, I need your help cleaning her up. Right! Ugh, not this box again. It's fine. All we have to do is remember that it's going to take a long time before we can- Oh, it's you guys. Can you guys not clutter up the hallway? It's this human. Do I know you guys from somewhere? Should I kill him? Excuse me? <laughs> One second. We need to be smart here. Remember, we cannot let the humans know about us. Or else... They'll take us to the Area 51. Yes, correct. So what do we do? I'm literally right here. We act as Ava taught us how humans act. 
Uh... How do we use the box? Huh? We want to get into the grocery store! How do we do? Why are you guys yelling at me? Assist us, human! Princess Ava does not yell all the time. Look, I'm going to the first floor. If you needed help, you could just ask. Didn't need to yell. Sheesh. That worked. <laughs> See? Well, not so smart, are you now, Rise? You're one to talk, Leaf. You were never smart. <gasps> well, I'm smart in other ways. Here, use this and pick her up. Then bring her over to the mirror so I can dry her hair. Now, the sound is going to be loud. Oh, hopefully it doesn't wake her. Thank you for your help! Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Well, <laughs> that time was far shorter than the last. We just need to yell at everything and things will go faster. <coughs> Looks like Noise one step ahead of us. Do you think he's okay? He's with Mrs. Oates, he's fine. Now let's get going. This will be our first outing without Princess Ava. Let's be on our guard. 